early start Monday morning. We've um, closed all the footpaths off locally to uh, make sure the walkers are kept well away from the works. We're now getting all the scaffolding up. There's a, there's a long lane coming up. This lane got upgraded a couple of months ago now uh, with, uh, for, from Blackburn Darwin Council upgraded the lane so we could get, uh, get access up here. And uh, so yeah, we've started today getting all the scaffolding up to the site compound. The logistics of getting materials and, um, and, and the likes of scaffolding up here, it is a real challenge. We've been planning this for, for the last two months now. We've been to site maybe five, six times uh, with the scaffolders, uh, looking at how to get all the scaffolding up and materials. Uh, just after the announcement of the Darwin Town Deal bid, we were informed by central government a number of towns were given accelerated funding. So Darwin was awarded £750,000 of accelerated funding for shovel-ready projects, of which one of them was Darwin Tower. It's an iconic feature, um, like most towers within uh, cities, major cities, um, and it, it gives a real sense of pride to people from the, from the town. We had just finished building a, a replica Lego tower, raising money for charity. And the Friends of Darwin Tower had just started raising money to restore Darwin Tower. And our then president, Alex Stuttard, uh, indicated he thought we should join them, and we did. We raised nearly £70,000. First of all, we had a, a very substantial donation by the WM and BW Lloyd Charity, which is a local charity, and they gave us £25,000. We inherited £13,000 from the friends of Darwin Tower, who sadly had broken up. Um, Darwin Town Council gave us the proceeds of the bonfire that they held. Um, the local authority, Blackman with Darwin Council, gave £10,000. And then the rest of it basically came from general subscriptions by schools, churches, individuals, and it just sort of mounted up. To enable this project to take place, the, the majority of the funding has come from the accelerated funding from the town deal, but obviously without the input of the Rotary and the resident contribution as well, this project would never have been able to take place. We've, we've worked hard, but I think really we've only been the facilitators. It's been the people of Darwin and the small businesses of Darwin who've really done, done us proud on that. For instance, we had a, a quiz night and they, a lot of people put up prizes, things like a table for two at uh, Artisan Cafe and so on, yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah. It, was, it really has had a, a lot of support right across the community. Clearly a big thank you to everybody who's helped and supported and promoted the, the project. We've chosen a um, a very good heritage company. There was a tender process, and we had uh, two, you know, two very good heritage companies, and that was that was terribly important because um, it, it, it needed to be done by the right people, uh, so that it's got it, it will last a number of years in in the in the sort of harsh terrain that it's in, um, and it will it will take a bit of time, but it will be well worth it because the fabric is now in need of real uh, immediate restoration work. Once this money has been spent and the tower has been restored, it'll it'll last for generations to come. Most of the site's going to be still remain open. Um, the monument itself is going to be closed uh, for the next 18 weeks uh, while the restoration works progress. Hopefully, the uh, walkers can come up and enjoy the countryside uh, around Darwin Tower. We've probably got about three weeks leading in now to uh, to get the full scaffolding fully erected around the um, around the monument. Over the next two months, we're going to start raking out all the cement pointing that's on the monument. Uh, we've got a large program of grouting and, and repointing to do. Uh, we're going to try and stop water ingress that's um, been a cause of uh, some issues uh, to the monument. And there's also some structural repairs to do on the top level landing. Uh, there's currently some um, temporary support works in there, but we're going to put some new steel work in and then put some asphalt repairs on the top deck and hopefully this can um, stabilise the uh, top landing uh, for the foreseeable future. I don't think you know there's been much of a large restoration scale programme on, on Darwin Tower in the past, so yeah, this is hopefully now should give it another 50 or 60 years lifespan for the people of Darwin and beyond to uh, come, and in, come and enjoy the, the views from the top of Darwin Tower.